I'm here in Northampton today to meet with students in the Summer at Smith program. These are high school girls who are interested in pursuing careers as writers. I'm going to be speaking to them about my own path as a writer and hopefully finding out what it is they want to know and answering their questions. After two years at Allure, I went to work at the New York Times. And it depends on the writer, but I think a lot of young writers are still kind of trying to figure out what should I be writing about and what's worth you know, spending time on, what isn't. I think it's important also to just write something that's just for yourself, whether it's in a journal or it's a short story that never makes it out of a drawer or something like that. And today, uh, this generation is sort of the first generation of young writers living in this world of social media where all writing is kind of out there and it's just sort of... Uh, public. So I think it's important too for them to know that some writing should just be for you. Ideally I hope to someday be published and just I really want to get a book out there sometime. It was really interesting um, just to hear how, how she made it and how her life went and to learn about even the publishing aspect of it and how to get into it the world of writing. I thought it was interesting how she had a particular image in mind for a character and then that image sort of changed as she wrote the story. So that was really neat hearing about because it tells you like not to be set on one idea. I think writing can be a difficult career path and what makes it worth it is just that for me writing from the time I was very very young has been the way that I kind of answer all the questions of life, the way that I figure out how I feel about something. And so writing is something I always did for pleasure before it was a job for me. And I can't imagine life without it.